Hi, my name is Victoria Vandenberg and I'm a creator. My passions are typography, authenticity and sustainability. Um, I love letters, I fell in love with them in my first year because design is all about constraints and it's about learning to maneuver those constraints and turning them into opportunities. And with 26 letters, there will be no more and no less. How do we evoke emotion and feeling and get you to understand the story of them before stringing them into words, let alone sentences and stories. I have always been a creator, but it, I think it was just the toolkit that I was missing. I had these ideas and I had this mindset and I wanted to empathize with people and build things and make things better, but I didn't know exactly how to do that. And it was global business and digital arts that I've been able to truly find out what it means to be a creator and put those tools together with the mindset to start making some pretty magical things. My inspiration with creativity is the beginning of the ideation process. So empathizing with who I'm building a solution for is my favorite part because if you can't fully understand what they're going through or their problems or what they want to change, then how are you supposed to actually step in and solve something and make something useful? If you're going to have a comprehensive solution, you start with empathizing and then you really feel the problem and it kind of becomes your own. And when that happens, that's when that's when you're able to actually design some pretty amazing things. In high school, I was your typical student that was going to go into business. I wanted a job in marketing and I thought that's what there was. When I found Global Business and Digital Arts, it was a game changer because I saw these three things, creativity and design, technology and business, that are starting to intersect within the industries but doesn't really have the change makers that understand the process, how to do this. I saw that you could learn the technical side and pair it with the academics and doing that was able to, it changed my whole mindset and I'm quite excited with where I'm at right now. In second year, I created a typography studio called Bonafide Craft. So we do weddings, we do murals and fonts. And what's super cool about GBDA is that because we have this business backing, I have the creative freedom to be able to make good content, but then I can pair it with the business that's super needed to be able to actually show it to the world. In the midst of changing industries, global business and digital arts allows you to learn and thrive within the modern trifecta. There's design, there's technology, and there's business, and you learn all these different aspects of every single one. But not only that, but they teach you to fall in love with learning. And when you fall in love with learning, then, well, you're always going to be relevant in the workplace because not only do you have the skill sets and the mindset, but you're never going to stop bettering yourself. And I think that's the coolest part. Global Business and Digital Arts and the Stratford School of Interaction, Design and Business have truly fostered a not only creative community, but one of change makers. And you're around so many talented students and incredible professors who don't see you as a number, but come up to you and ask how your development is going within projects and talk to you outside of class hours to see if they can help. And you have resources at your disposal. You have, you're learning things left, right and center that you didn't even know were able to be learned and you're never the smartest person in the room, which I think is the best part because there's always something new to take in. Global Business and Digital Arts has pushed me as a creator because firstly, they allowed me to accept that I was a creator. They gave me the toolkit to be able to do so as well as the creative confidence to show it to the world.